Oh, stonk of a fish. Beautiful. That's a good fish. A fish busting up in the background. There you go. Beautiful prime. Arnhem Land. Arnhem Land. Bow Monday. Pulled up on this nice little rock bar. Perfect condition for the bar. Deep water, snags, rocks. The lads on the other boat have already picked up quite a few this morning. This is my first one for the day. Take a couple of photos and get them back in the water. Oh, there we go. One again. They're feisty little fish. Please, here we go. Come on here. Stand here for the camera. Gonna make you famous. A bit tricky landing. Have it by yourself. Sometimes I don't play the game. Lead them into the net. There we go. That's the second fish in about five minutes. The kit we're using today, uh, primarily the Reedy's lures. We're fishing fairly deep water, so we're using this. This particular lure is the uh, the Taipan, green and gold. Dies down to about three and a half metres. The beauty about these is you can work them, get them down quickly, and you can work them really, really slowly. And that's the ideal. <laughs> Gee, these flies are friendly. That's the ideal technique for these barra. Once you get the lure down, work them slowly, dead slow, using the rod, rod tip. The boys are on again. Outstanding. We'll put this fella back in the uh, water and we'll have another crack. Get some excited! <laughs> get some excited! Get the anglers excited! We're going! Hey, oh, Danny jumped in the boat! <laughs> hey, here we go! Woo! This is the stuff. Be sitting at home, eating pizza and watching uh, telly. 
Well, then I'll probably add my fair share of pizza. Come here, little fella. He's only a little fella, but gee, he's got some stick to him. Little ones have got some curry, huh? Yeah. This is only a three to four kilo rod. One of the United Compasses outfits, uh, SHX series. Slightly softer. I like using them because they're a little bit more forgiving than, uh, than the other models, your higher modulus models. But uh, as you can see there, they've still got plenty of curry. I'll just lift them into the boat. Well, maybe I'll jump into the boat. There we go, onto the deck. Come up and strike it and hook them in the gills. Oh, they're beautiful little fish, the barrow. Put them back, there we go. Ideal. <laughs> Woo! He wanted that lure. Ah. Another victim of the tie pan. Fly it out. I actually had two fish come up after that. We had a couple of strikes. I stopped the lure dead in his tracks. And this fella came up and he won the battle. Oh, they're pretty fish. Good solid fish. Anyway, there we go. Just cast into the bank over there. Got me lure down. Switched over to another another uh, taipan, and this thing just got wild. It's not fighting like a barra. I'm not. I don't know what it is. It's fighting deep. Only using three to four kilo rod. Light kit, twenty pound line. Here we go. Need a bit of colour. Oh no. Oh, it's a queen fish. I fair hooked him. <laughs> he had a swipe out it and I hooked him in the tail. There we go. I'm bow to queenfish. This creek's got it all. Take care getting these lures out. We're using barbless hooks today. Always use barbless hooks. Not only for easy release of the fish, but also on uh, the odd occasion uh, I have seen them and had them stuck in my fingers. Makes it a lot easier to get out. If you have a look around the boat, we're pretty well set up. We've travelled about an hour and a half down uh, down the coast for Man and Greta. 60 litre fuel a drum. That should do us for a couple of days. Uh, over on the far side, we've got a, uh, a spot, which is a, um, a GPS navigational, it's not a navigational tool. Um, it sends a signal back to a website where uh, people can keep an eye on us. Great for doing long distances like this, uh, safety aspect. <coughs> bucket load of lures and a bucket load of fish. We'll just spear off back to this spot and have another crack. See how we go. The lads in the other boat, Troy and Ben, always travel in pairs. Not safe for, uh, especially on this distance, travelling in pairs. Or another shot out. <laughs> 